Deception. We're halfway there, love. Just four pieces to go. Don't disappoint me now. We need to get that soul shard to get the gate open. Naturally, it's behind those bars. Well, if Malak won't let us get to the shard, we'll have to make the orb come to us. Go to the ring altar. I just need to make a few more changes to your brain. Don't worry. If you start to feel dizzy or you start to smell colors, just take a deep breath and wait for it to pass. If it doesn't pass, quit whining and get used to it. I'm a movie star, not a brain surgeon. gathered all of the soul shards. The ring piece is now exposed, and the monsters will go into a frenzy. Get to the ring piece before Mr. Monkey finds you. A hospital? Well, I guess everyone has to face their demons sooner or later. Maybe this place can help you with that. Are your shots up to date? No problem. Fierce? I see. How troublesome. Yep, we can handle that. Absolutely. Leave it to us. You don't have to worry about a thing. Well, speak of the devil. Looks like he just walked in. Ooh, and he's a looker, too. I'll get back to you shortly, okay? Bye bye now. Greetings, and welcome to this place of healing and mercy. Mind if I take a closer look at you? Oh, you poor thing. I see that life was not kind to you. You still carry around so much of that pain. It must weigh terribly on you. Ah, and now you've chosen to serve the deal breaker. How curious. Are you not aware that she only offers lies? Lord Malik can offer you so much more. You need only to return that which you have taken from him. We'll get to that later though. For now, you did the right thing coming here to see us. You don't need to suffer anymore. We can heal your soul. We can offer the beauty that you desire. You need only be ready and willing to accept our mercy. Do you want to become one of our new patients? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you do. What a silly thing to ask. First things first though, we need to check your vitals. The deal breaker may have infected your body and mind as well as your soul. After all, Lord Malik's infinite power was never meant for mere mortals. You've been using them quite recklessly. There may be dire consequences for your health. I don't know what she's talking about, but she has her head in a bag. That's kind of a red flag, isn't it? Please, follow me. See anything you like? Kind of disturbing, but I do like her shoe. Right in here. Let's check your weight first, shall we? Once you are ready to begin accepting our mercy, please step up onto the scale. Are you sure you want to stand on it? Oh, 
What? Is something wrong? My apologies. Must be a malfunction. Don't worry. I'll put in a work order to get that fixed. I don't know. Something seems a bit off about that skirt. Okay, next up, we need to do a little lab work. I just need to take a small blood sample. You're not afraid of needles, are you? Okay, great. Stay right there and don't move. Wait until the timer reaches zero. I'll be right outside the door. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think you want to still be in this room when that timer reaches zero. Find a way out of here! Didn't I say not to move? So, you are afraid of needles. Noted. Let me remind you that we do not have time to play games with our patients. Please take this more seriously if you wish to be saved. I think she might be trying to kill you. Big surprise. Be on guard. How about a chest x-ray? You afraid of those as well? Let's try this again. Wait right there, and this time don't move. It's your last chance. Same deal. Wait until the counter reaches zero. I'll be right outside. going. Come back here. I still have more tests to run. <laughs> Sir, this is unacceptable. We will not accept unruly patients. Ah, <sighs> what a shame. It seems you've been infected by that woman after all. You do not desire salvation. You're just another vile man after all. Chaotic and infectious. Like a virus. Very well. We know how to deal with viruses. If eradication is your true desire, we shall grant it. It might be comforting to tell you that your death will be quick and painless, but that will be a lie. After all, we can get a bit carried away while performing our duties. However, I can promise you one thing. You'll never see it coming. They can cloak? That's going to be troublesome. So Malak's minions are not very fond of me. Shocking, I know. Ladies, the hospital is now on complete lockdown. It seems we have an unruly patient on the loose that must be dealt with. Lethal mercy is authorized. They could be anywhere. Stay alert. They might be invisible to the eye, but they can't hide the signs they make. Thank <laughs> you. 
smells like bacon frying. Oh, wait, is that you? like bacon frying. Oh wait, is that you?
What you looking at? See anything you like? Look out! Say goodnight! Wake up, you idiot! Oh, you careless oaf! Get up! <laughs> <laughs> 
now. Hey there, sleepyhead. Are you awake now? Good. You snore pretty loudly, you know. Welcome to our intensive therapy unit. You're going to be here a while, and I have to thank you for saving us the trouble of bringing you down here ourselves. Ooh, you're still a tad unruly, but our rigorous treatment package should take that fight right out of you. We need to get you prepared, ready, and wrapped with a bow for Lord Malik. I know, we'll start with some acupuncture. I mean, who doesn't like acupuncture, right? Don't worry, the process is fully automated to guarantee the most effective treatment. See? Now you just scream for me if you need anything, okay? Toodles! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! In case you didn't notice, they're trying to kill you. That was close. Find a way to get past him. Use your brain. You need to find a way to get past him. Use your brain. We will not accept unruly patients. Some pretty twisted therapy. Be careful that you don't actually become a Deserves a face palm. like bacon frying. Oh wait, is that you?
Nobody's listening.
You got it. Now get out of this twisted hospital. Malak's not around. Maybe he's demoralized. Take that! 
You are becoming quite opportunistic, mortal. How fortunate for you that I was already occupied with more pressing matters. That will not happen again. Thanks to the two of you, dangerous forces are now in motion. You are disrupting my business, and I cannot afford to allow your insolence to continue any longer. Next thing you know, he'll be pleading with you. That's because he's losing. Soon the ring will be mine again. Three pieces left. You want a new start? A better life? I can give that to you. All that and more. Malik thinks he's being clever. Now he's got a camera watching the entrance to keep you from getting past. Does he think I'm not capable of making you invisible whenever I want? Or shrinking you to the size of a cockroach? Or turning you into a cockroach if I so desire? Well, I'll show him. Return to the ring, Otter. Fair warning, this might hurt a bit. Welcome to Joy Joyland. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this place. I'd pick up the pace if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> 